greetings and salutations, people of the internet. I'm back. Since all of you have uh, last been flying with me, you may notice something a little bit different down here. Uh, compass has moved because we've now got a screen on the plane, so that's now visible, so that's pretty cool. Now I arrived at the airfield at <laughs> 9 o'clock this morning. It's now 12 o'clock and I still haven't actually flown. I'm too busy gabbing about various different things. Got my Klima entering and lining up 1-1. One -one. Golf my Pima backtracking on one. I've got quite a lot of fuel on board, so this is backtrack a little bit on the runway. Right, here we go. All good to go. Golf my Pima taking off one one, departing to the south. Down. 
only issue I perceive at the moment is the fact that unfortunately a few weeks back I put my sunglasses stupidly on the floor in the, in the hangar <laughs> and then proceeded to reverse my plane over the sunglasses. So I don't have any sunnies on me at the moment, so uh, it's quite cold today. <laughs> all the mist and stuff that's coming out. It's definite winter conditions. Right, it's been over the Lammies we go. The back of the Lammermeers anyway. Kind of looking forward to doing that direction, east and west, because then I'm not going to have the sun directly in my face. And we see the tweed yet? I can't. It's over there somewhere, apparently. in that valley, see the two humps. I think it's sort of in front of that. Ah, yes, that's the tree there. One thing that I do think about when it comes to flying the plane that I do, um, in comparison to something like a paramotor, is that you can't really go down low. Um, there are certain laws, we don't go lower than 500 feet uh, if we can avoid it at all costs, really. Just avoid people, buildings, all that kind of stuff. And there is a law that kind of governs that. Um, unless, of course, it's a safety issue and you really need to go and fly low to avoid any mist or clouds or anything like that, then it's understandable. But, Something like this, when you've got these undulations here in the walls and all this really cool stuff, it would be absolutely awesome to be able to put the plane down low and fly around. And it is something that people ask me is, well, can you fly down low, like close to the ground, like 100 feet off the ground and like buzz things? And no, you just can't really do that. It's just not sensible. For a few reasons. One, obviously, it's going to irritate the people that are on the ground. So it's not safe for that. And two, if for whatever reason something happens to the wing or something happens to the local air conditions which will change the wing itself or change the airflow and you get a wing drop if you've only got a hundred foot of space between you and the ground the ground's going to win I'm afraid so that's why we tend to try and stick it up high for us though it does mean we get the good views I mean you can't knock this I mean this is spectacular um, I've got the, the hills of the borders and walls and things all going about it's absolutely stunning flying conditions I haven't had a real major bump at all, so I cannot complain. Okay, so we've now made it to Peebles. Okay, so we're now on the lookout for the Great Map of Scotland. Ah, I have spotted the hotel where the map is located. So it's, I believe it's in that block of white buildings in the forest area there. So it's just coming into view now. That is spectacular. Oh wow, it's so much better from the, from the air. And it's got water in it as well. That is just amazing. It's a complete topographical relief of the whole of Scotland, and it's accurate. Like, you can see Arthur's Seat on it, you can see Berwick Law on it as well. Right, we're now going to go back down the Tweed and head to Berwick. Love that. So glad I've seen it. Bye, Matt. that I said about preferring to fly in the winter. Freaking heck. Right, warmer socks, thicker thermals on the top. My legs are okay, but they could do with the thermal, so I think I might get some long joints. That's us back over Gala Shields now. So that's the 
the valley that we came down when we were heading down towards Galashiels. So that's that way. But we're going to carry on following the tweed all the way down that way. from London and you're coming up to Scotland on the train, you come through Berwick and you go over this really amazing bridge just over here, the, the one at the back of town, and uh, you get great views um, down the Tweed and out to sea. So yeah, actually that's the point. That's us now at the mouth of the River Tweed going into the North Sea. So we've just flown the length of the Tweed from Peebles all the way out to the sea. That was cool. I am freezing, up, but really cool. Hey, Beric. Yeah, see, that's the railway bridge there. The station's there, so if you stop, that's where you go. The great little pub on the corner there, uh, <laughs> which I have had to use on one occasion because I fell asleep on the train in Dunbar and it was my stop. It stopped me at Beric. So, I stopped there, I had to wait an hour and a half, so I uh, stopped up for a wee drinky and then up the train. us now coming down to a bit of a lower altitude to go over the top of Dunbar. My haunt, my home, the place that I irritate people when I fly over all the time. <laughs> east watching traffic, Golf Charlie, Charlie, Mike, Lima inbound from the east. Three miles to run at 2,000 feet, descending to 1,500. I hope you enjoyed that little flight around the borders uh, and along the River Tweed, I certainly did. It's something I've always wanted to do, which was to see the, the big map of Scotland, just north of Peebles, and I can now tick that off my list, and uh, hopefully I've added it to your list so that it's one that you would um, happily go and see sometime in the future, and I hope you do. So we'll make our way down to the ground, I'm just arriving back in East Fortune now, uh, we're already at the right altitude to go over the top of the airfield and find out which runway we're going to be using, and uh, then we'll just pull her in, run to the toilet, because that's been a long flight, uh, and uh, then go and grab something to eat. So yes, I hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did, and um, I will catch you all on the next episode. Wow, two hours and 21 minutes I've been away for. <laughs> That's a long flight. Right, which runway are we coming in on? Let's see where we are.
Now that was a landing. Wow. Yeah, the difference it makes when there's absolutely no wind. <laughs> you just float down like a piece of paper. Absolutely lovely. Right, let's go this way. Do you want to cut the grass? And here we are, back at the hangar. Gloves off. We're racing to get to the toilet. <laughs> Two hours and 30 minutes I've been away. Wow, the gold flight. Right, till the next time.